and hello, Chocolate Birds here for another video review. It's the Cadbury's Caramilk Slices Hedgehog. Caramel's white chocolate with almond pieces, toasted coconuts, and rice crisps. So I'm not sure where the hedgehog comes into play for that. I think it is a brand in Cadbury Australia, because it's an Australian import, basically, from B&M. Uh, that's where I got it anyway. Um, so I've seen this at the hedgehog bar before in the past in the Cadbury Australia. So I guess that's basically it, really. So it's just a brand name. But interesting one all the same. Interesting. They remind me of a hedgehog particularly. I guess there's... Maybe you could say there's a little spiny bits, maybe. Not sure. Anyway, almond pieces, toasted coconut and rice crisps. So let's see if they put, uh, I don't think they will do, I think they'll put toasted chocolate on the back. Let's see in the uh, import sticker. Anyway, Cadbury Caramel Curse Slices Hedgehog, 165 grams. Caramelized white chocolate with rice crisps, almond pieces and toasted chocolate. There we go. Caramelized white chocolate, 84%. Rice crisps, 7%. Almond pieces, 5%. And coconut, 3%. So I think that's 94. Yeah, that's up to 99 if my... Maths is correct, so there's 1% A wall there missing. I think anyway, yeah, 99. So 1% is not is not accounted for. And cut further down, it says uh, cocoa soil is 23% minimum, milk soil is 29% minimum. We imported in the UK by cream and coffee cocoa. So there you go. All right, so here's got the uh, nutritional information per 100 grams. It's 544 calories, 32.6 grams of fat, 18.7 which is saturated. So, so sometimes, you know, as I say, the I've seen mistakes in these before, so it might be worth double checking. But uh, at Cabri Australia, they don't give you the in the information in the killer calories and the killer jewels. So per four squares, 25 grams, 136 calories, 8.2 grams of fat, 4.7 of which are saturates. So it's per pack approximately six. It's a 6.6 .6 in the uh, <laughs> here. So I think it's a four by eight bar basically. And there's the uh, Australian version if you need to see 6.6 .6 servings per packet. <laughs> some stuff there as well. Got some uh, getting touch and things like this. Um, so it's got the Australia and uh, New Zealand addresses, so at least, or at least the Australian one anyway. Malaysia and uh, Singapore as well. So that, if you're not happy, get in touch, things like this. And it says things are uh, uh, coloured purple and caramel. A trademark, so caramel's a trademark as well. Interesting. Mm. All right, so yeah, is there anything else to say? I don't think there is too much, to be honest with you. Um, I'll say it's four squares, basically. Streetwise, it talks about the uh, Cocoa Plan, Cocoa Life, whatever it is. It's Nestle got a cocoa plant, isn't it? Can believe that sustainable source cocoa does good for farmers, their communities, and our planet. Cocoa life. Education, stuff like that. So, right, entrepreneur training, things like this. Alright, so I'll say look into that if it's of interest to you. Just sounds a good cause. Some other things there as well. I believe that tasting good and doing good should go hand in hand. Doesn't mean they necessarily do. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, I don't know what that statement really says. It does imply that they're doing both, but who knows. It's got the reseal thing there as well at the top. I don't think there's much more to say. It looks very nice on the outside. Does it look nice on the inside? Let's uh, give it open and find out. Let's do it. Okay, everyone, I'm going to give this uh, Cadbury Caramel Milk Slices Hedgehog. Yes, or Hedgehog Slices. <laughs> I guess it's not Hedgehogs. I'm not actual Hedgehogs involved. I don't believe in this product. Um, yeah, so, uh, well, that's about further ado. Let's just get into it. Give it open. So, today we're going to do about 1,070, if not more, reviews. But if it's not, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, if not done so already. That's all I don't want to place all the other reviews, but some of the related ones, such as other Cadbury Australia ones, other Caramel ones, other Dairy ones, other. General cabin ones, things like that. So, yeah, if you'd like to subscribe, go check this out. And we're going to do. And also, you can see there, I wonder if that's coconut there. So it stands out a bit more, doesn't it? This roasted coconut than in the other one I reviewed, the uh, crackle one, which had um, roasted coconut in there, or toasted coconut rather. So, yeah, so you can definitely see what I believe it to be there. Let's just give it a bit of information before I uh, turn it over and things. It's warm today in the house, so it should be 17.3. Yeah, about 17.3, 17.4. That is one as well, which I reviewed earlier. Do have a similar one in the same sort of line. Let's give a bit of a these are the calipers. Right, that's eight point six. And that's uh, that side. That one point three in between. About eight millimeters. Did I do the diameter? I think I did, but uh, just in case. About 8.5. It was 8.6 for wasn't it? So yeah, squished a bit. All right. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Well, if you can see automatic, you know, I've alluded to it before. You can see it's lovely and uh, crammed full of stuff there. Rice pieces and uh, you can see the coconut pieces as well appearing. I assume anyway. I mean, it says it's almond pieces, isn't it? Actually, so it could be almond pieces actually, couldn't it? Those. Um. Yeah, almond pieces, toasted coconut. Yeah, so they could actually be almonds. There we go. We can see it's a four by eight bar as well. 
quite nice on the top because of the squares there and I think you say Cadbury on them if you can see just about yeah well, let's give it a snap then see what we can see um, let's have a look try and on the inside let's have a look so there you go you can see there rice crispy pieces there those ball things I'm pretty much sure those what those are possibly toasted almonds maybe is it toasted almonds it's just almond pieces and toasted coconuts, so it's just almond pieces. So they possibly could be almond pieces there. But toasted coconut, I'm not sure. It seems to go right to the top in some places. You can see these bits poking through at the top, but I can't see any almond pieces at the top. Maybe that round bit there. Let's give it a bit of a chop then, see, uh, see a bit further. Okay. So there you go, so not uh, massively going all the way to the top in this one. Yeah. It's not from that, but it's, you can see there are bits in there, um, but definitely seems to be more at the bottom. Hmm. Hard to identify what the coconut parts are, at least from those bits anyway. So there we go. Yeah. All right, well, it looks interesting. It looks very tasty. And there's also, I'll say, there are, you know, it's crammed full of stuff, at least at the bottom anyway. So, <laughs> you know, definitely seems to be coming quite through to the top, although you can see that bit there. You must have a bit there. So uh, we'll just chop through. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe sort of. Yeah, sort of at the top. Hard to say. Hmm. Something there at least, but yeah. <laughs> but all right, well, let's see how it tastes. That's the most important part, is it? So let's lift myself up, give it a taste. Okay, everyone, going to give this, uh, yes, Cadbury Caramel Milk Slices Hedgehog, or Hedgehog Slices, <laughs> a taste. Very excited for this one. In Australian import, this one it is. So basically, caramel milk with um, almond pieces, toasted coconut, and rice crisps. There we go. So toasted coconut. Yeah. Now, right, so we've got a segment and a half. We, uh, yeah, got it earlier. <laughs> so let's uh, just give it a taste. That's it. Hmm. Crunchy. Cam milk as always is um lovely from Cambridge Australia. Hmm. Quite nice and hmm. Creamy. Hmm. Now has it been ruined by the taste of um almonds and co coconut and things like this? Um I think that's the question. We don't get much by way of any other flavour, you know, any almond flavour anything like that. And this one does seem to have something else in it, you know, there's a bit of assuming there. Almond pieces in there, those sort of brown bits. Let's give it a go. Mm. I'm really not getting a distinct almond or coconut taste in this one. Mm. I mean, I think it is there. I can, well, slightly getting some almond there. I think the caramel glow is um, just overpowering them a bit, really. They are, they are there to an extent, actually. I can tell there's something else there. I'm not sure it's adding much, to be honest with you. Um, I think it might be taking away from the caramel taste. I don't know. The caramel taste is quite nice. Hmm. Hmm. That little bit there. I think I definitely got some something almond or coconutty. Hmm. I'm not a massive nut fan, I must say. But you know, I they have grown on me recently, and I'm enjoying them more than I used to. I, I you know, I do sort of buy sort of flavoured. Um, Cashew nuts and almonds and things like that, and they're quite nice actually. I do quite like them when they're, when they're sort of when he's when they're you know roasted or flavoured or something like that, they can be quite nice. But um, normally just plain, they're not that great, Jimmy. I don't believe, but you know, some people do like them. They are in this one, but I don't feel that really, I feel their impact is very minimal. I think you can slightly taste them, there's something there, you can tell there's something a bit different, but um. I'm not sure it's really adding. I feel like it's detracting from the caramel taste, which is really nice on its own. I don't think it needs anything like this. These sort of subtle, you know, nutty text, taste, well, flavours, really. I don't even think there's much of a taste from the from the nuts, to be honest with you. Um, but, I mean, it's slightly there, having said that. I mean, but it's not, it's just really not very strong. I mean, you feel like it's just something that's getting in the way rather than really adding to anything. I really like the crunchy bits though, the crunchy bits are really nice, and even the crunchy bits of the nuts and things, if that's what you get as well. I can't really discern the difference between those and the rice uh, crispy pieces, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I think that, that works really well, and I think that on its own would make this a great product. But I feel like with the 
with the nutty bits. They're just not really adding anything. Not really taking away, really. But they're certainly... They're not... I mean, they are... They're, they're slightly detracting from the flavour of the candle. They're not really taking away. They're just... Slightly, you know, they're slightly getting in the way, really, I think is the best way to put it. So, really nice product. I think Cadbury Caramel for me is, is a four and a half, a five out of five from Cadbury Australia for sure. The UK one's not quite as good. Um, this one's very nice, but I feel like, I feel like unfortunately, the, the nutty taste for me. I mean, if you're a really big fan of, you know, nuts and stuff, they might, this might still be a five out of five for you, or might be a bumped up to a five out of five, you know. Um, but for me, I don't know, I feel like it's slightly de detracting from it. And well, I do quite like it. Uh, Hmm. That sort of, sort of like subtle, very mild, very. Is it there? Is it not? Nutty taste, kind of takes away from it really. I just prefer the crunch one though. I prefer I have a, a better sort of flavored nut or something, you know, um, which which may be not a good idea either. But I don't. As it stands, I don't know, and I can't really taste the coconut at all. I'm not really getting much of a coconut flavor at all, really. Um, maybe every now and again slightly, but it's in conflict with the caramel. You know, that's the problem. They're just kind of in conflict with the caramel, I think is the short of it. So I think for me, this one, it's tempting to give it a four and a half because it's still nice, but I, I, I think that's not right. I think it's it's a high three and a half, a four. I, mean, I think it's a four out of five, basically. I don't think a three and a half, I don't think is fair. I think it's a, a, a solid four out of five. But if you like the nuts and things, you know, I think you could probably bump this up maybe. But... For me, they don't quite work with it. Hmm. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed that review, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, check out the YouTube Moment Programme, links in the description of that, as is linked to the Discord server. Don't forget to support my channel and be come out to the community. Uh, click on all these videos pinned on screen now, great support my channel also by continuing to watch my content. And have a great day, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye for now. See ya.